Let's solve this linear equation. Got 7x over 2 minus 3x equals x over 4 minus 1 third. Step 1, get rid of parentheses. Don't have any. Step 2, get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. We got 2, 4, and 3. Now I'm going to actually show find an LCM of these. So this one is still not real challenging. I list down all my denominators, the 2, 4, and 3, and I write the prime factorization of each one down. So this is just 2, that's already prime. 4 is 2 times 2, and 3 is prime. Now our LCM is we look at each prime, and we'll look for the greatest number of times it appears on a single line. There's 1 here, there's 2, there's 1, 2 here, there's 2, 2's here, there's no 2's. So greatest number of 2's on any single line is 2 of them. Now we'll look at how many threes on each line. There's no threes here, none here, there's one three here. The greatest number of threes on any single line is one. So again, what we're looking for is we're looking for the greatest number of each one on a single line. Now we're not counting how many there are total. We're looking for the greatest number on each on a single line. Two times two is four, times three is twelve. So our LCM is twelve. And we're gonna multiply everything by twelve. So I'll multiply it by seven x over two. I'll multiply it by negative 3x. I'll multiply it by x over 4. And I'll multiply it times negative 1 third. Now when I say everything, I'm talking about what's separated by pluses and minuses. 12 and 2 and equals. 12 and 2 are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Uh, 12 and 4 both divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 and 12 both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 6 times 7 gives us 42x. 12 times negative 3 gives us negative 36x. 3 times x gives us 3x. And 4 times negative 1 gives us negative 4. Now our note up at top says any step combined together like terms. 42x minus 36x gives us 6x. Step 3. Get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'll take the 3x over to the left side. Remember when you take anything cross or equals, your sign changes. So the 3x becomes a negative 3x. Our note up at top says an A-step combined together like term. 6x minus 3x gives us 3x. And step 4. Divide both sides by a number in front of your x. Well, the number in front of your x is a 3, so we're going to divide both sides by a 3. And these 3's cancel. And we got x is equal to negative 4 thirds. And that's our answer.